So, we back at it again. And a lot of shit happened last episode. So, last episode, we were in this motherfucker like a newborn baby. But, uh, Clive went to the free city of Canver and saw that everybody was slaughtered by Akashic. Beat the Lord Commander of the Waludan army. But, then the King of Walud came out and bodied him. Completely bodied him. Knocked him out of semi-prime or whatever the fuck they call it. Um, yeah. Chill. Also tried to fight. I don't think that worked out either. And we lost Jill. So. Now. We back. And we get into that bull jive. Cole said it was an army of Akashi. What will happen to me? How are we supposed to do our duty when the hills are crawling with Akashi? Clive. But if you're here. Where the hell is everyone else? Don't tell me. They're all right. But it's a long story. You lot don't do things by halves, do you? Well, at least everyone's still breathing. Now, as for these writings, I'm sorry to say, Clive, but if you had those, you'd be... Sitting under a pile of rubble, I know. But we were able to save a few bits and pieces from the ruins. Most of which ended up being used to build this place. The more personal items would go to the next of kin. In the case of Sid's things, that would have been mid. Then I'll check the workshop. Oh, also, Mid has some stuff that she wants to learn about how to properly run her ship, and she thinks, like, Sid's diary is gonna have that info. I remember seeing this doll in Sid's cellar. I wonder if it was Mid's. Huh. Why is this tucked inside it? Sid's best invention. Hmm. That sounds promising. So Sid hid something in Mid's first opus. But what would that be? Perhaps Otto might know. Ah, uh, here we go. Well, did you find anything? Possibly. You wouldn't happen to know what Mid's first opus was. Opus? That girl's as tone deaf as a banshee. Unless you mean the orchestrion. She couldn't have been more than, what, 11, 12, when she cobbled that thing together? It surprised us all. Not least her dad. We should have seen how proud he was of the little scamp. What's that battered old box had to do with anything? I think Sid may have hidden something inside it. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Those two and their bloody treasure hunts. Half the things in the hideaway were hidden one time or another. I didn't break it. Well, I didn't break it. What didn't you break? Nothing. We didn't break nothing. We definitely didn't break your question. What's wrong with it? It's broken. Except when it isn't. See? And you had nothing to do with this? Nope. Nothing. We just wanted to listen to all the songs at once. So we press all the buttons. Like this. See? <sighs> all too well. All right, out of the way. Did you break it? Can you fix it? 
No, I mean, yeah, yes. There. How about now? You fixed it. Sid fixed it. He more than fixed it. Yeah, new music. Huh. Never heard this one before. They started playing when I removed this. Whatever it is. Well, don't look at me. I can tell you it's important, though. Sid showed it to me once and said as much. Said it was the stuff dreams were made of. Let's just hope it's the stuff ships are made of as well. Indeed. Let's see if we can make some dreams come true. Just the two I was looking for. Hi, hi. Who's a patient? Actually, yes. The Crown Prince just left. Dion left? Unless you've another word for stood up and walked off. Yes, left. He did have the decency to leave a message with Obelis before commandeering one of his dinghies. Should we go after him? No. We're not the Prince's keepers. He's free to do as he sees fit. I'd rather he did so in bed. His wounds are nowhere near healed. Much like yours, I suspect. Otto told me what happened in Canver. What is it with this realm's princes and their aversion to rest? Uh, ask me when I get back. Though I may be some time. Then at least try to stay safe. But if that fails, try to stay alive, eh? I waste here the further the flagship sails. I have to get back. Clive? My dad had it all worked out. He'd be proud of you, Mid. His writings may have helped, but this achievement is all yours. <laughs> Can we catch them? The Ine Yard's one of the largest, fastest vessels ever built. And it won't help she has the wind at her back. Any other ship would be hard pressed to keep pace with her, let alone reel her in. But this isn't any other ship. This is the Enterprise! And the world's never seen anything like my dad's engine. It certainly hasn't. Clive, what do you know of Barnabas Tharm? Only what the bards sing. And he sailed to ash from southern lands. But it was his mastery of the blade which won him the throne. And that his sword, Odin's sword, can sever the very threads of creation. But don't lose any sleep over a last tilt. We'll do what we must to survive. What we must. <laughs> the light! I thought this crew was meant to be hidden! <sighs> Mid! Company! Them off until the ship is ready. But hurry! All hands! All hands! Back your stations! Uh, 
All right, let's see what they got for me. Oh, this is light work. Talk to talk to him, Uncle uh, Uncle Byron. something Damn. all right this big akashic fucker attack This shit is easy. Easy. Lord, it's easy. That was easy enough. The captain? <laughs> Clive? Sounds like a boss to me. Did we kill him? But I thought he was. Confounded. Then it is as I feared. Sleipnir is no man. But the creation of Odin. Is that five? Oh, we. Oh, no. Phoenix's fiery fundament. Have you no normal enemies? My. Yup. That's what I'm talking about, Uncle Byron, because that's exactly how I feel. Shit. Up for another round? Of course we are. Right, Lord Rosfield? My boy, there was a time people called me. The executioner. Who was my office? No matter, heads will roll all the same. Mate, new plan! You leave, we follow! Follow? Swimming, are you? Oh, bother me! Lay anchor! Oh, yeah, he knew what time it was. Okay. 
care, my friends. Is not blood that runs through in these veins. These foes will not fall easily, but they will fall. Like oaks before a woodman's axe. Good thing I brought one! Yo, so these dudes are way easier than the last time I fought this guy. I thought we was about to really have some smoke for real. As long as it takes. Unless you have a better one. You know what happens when you use a shadow from GG. Yeah, you spread your chocolate then. But golly. This dude's going ape shit on all these dudes. Basically, and yo, it's like every time I kill one, like two more pop up. They tell me I buy mid some time. Shit, I gotta buy myself some time. Golly. Signal. What signal? What's the signal? Fuck okay, it, tornado. Is that the signal? It's gonna be a signal today. God damn it. That was crazy, but all right. Now, mate. All right, engines go ahead. And hold on What do you want? That's quite a mess you've made. And wholly unnecessary. You are my offering to Muthos. I would not see you damaged. I don't suppose Mid has a spare engine. <laughs> Since you rose from the grave, my fortunes have plummeted. 
Are you absolutely certain of this quest of yours, Clive? The foes you face are as terrible as they are numerous. Aye. And they'd have us live and die on their terms, which should answer your question. Ha! Huh. You have that same stubborn look as your father did when he set his mind to something. On the battlefield, I am but a single axe. A deadly one, mind, but a single one nonetheless. Yet what you require is a thousand, and I believe my old friend in Brandalar can provide them. Take care, Clive. I have many more tales of your father's exploits to share. And I cannot very well do that if you're dead. Again. Good luck, Uncle. And may fair winds attend you. As for you, Joshua, take care. I shall do my best, Uncle. Farewell, my nephews. When next you see me, it shall be with an army at my back. Keep up, my boy. Well, we can't have him showing us up now, can we? We would never hear the end of it. What have I done? My lord! between here and Walud, but any ship heading north has to round Zemeckis and put through the narrow. Maintain our current bearing north-northeast, and we'll catch the Black Galleon before she vanishes again. What's to prevent her from circling around Ash from the south? With these winds in those waters, it'd take him forever and a fortnight to reach Stone here. Mid knows what she's talking about, Clive. Better than any of us lot, anyway. I say we do as she tells... Sails on the horizon. She's ours. Look alive, boys! Pull ahead! And keep those furnaces fed! Aye, aye. Do you feel that, Jill? All hands! Battle stations! Let's see what this girl can do.
does the other follow? A bond of consciousness which joins them, condemning both to the same fate. Yet my every attempt to strike it from their hearts serves only to tighten its hold. Weave. I hope they're not going to say that Clive can fight with Odin now after that ass whooping because there's nothing he did that should get. That should should close that gap. Nothing he did should close that gap in this this amount of time. Let's get to it. 